Today we have the Alpha Pure Sine Wave Inverter. Let's open it up. There we go. It's a 1500 watt, says here. Yeah, it looks like just a basic, no frills, 1500 watt inverter. It's a 12 volt. Only thing that's included is the inverter and the manual. There's no wires, which is fine because usually inverters that do come with the wires, they're horrible. They're, they're aluminum or something like that. And I wouldn't recommend using them anyway. So we've got, looks like a volt and amp meter on this end. And that's probably like a DC voltage. We have two USB 2.1 amp connectors and then two 110 volt AC receptacles. On off switch. On the back, we've got the two terminal posts. Looks like, might be M8. Yep. M8 size terminal post. Well, let's hook it up and try it out. All right, so we've got the inverter hooked up to this brand new Redodo Mini 100 amp hour battery. If you guys haven't watched the video I did of this thing, you should go check it out. This is such a cool battery. It's their Mini 100 amp hour battery, and it's a lot smaller than the ones that we're used that we're used to seeing with a larger case that has all the space in it. <laughs> all right, so let's turn this guy on. Showing 114 volts AC, 109 now, 13.5 DC. All right, well, let's hook up this heater. All right, looks like we're pulling 5.7 amps. That's on the low setting of the heater. It's medium, 7.9. Let's try the high setting. So about 11 amps, so 11 times 110. So it looks like we're pulling uh, 1200 watts there. Let me see if I can find something else to, see if we can't get it up to uh, 1500 watts. So for 1500 watts, we need to get the amperage here around 11, uh, no, around 13 and a half. So let's see what this does. I've got a heat gun. There's 9.8. Let's go to the medium setting on the heater. Eleven point nine. Well, let's go to the high setting on the heater. This is probably gonna put us over, I think. Fifteen point one. And it's not shut down. So let's see, I don't know if that was the battery that shut down or the inverter. No, the battery's still going. So the inverter shut down. So that would have been, what was that, 1600 watts? So we got the 15 amps. It was actually 1650 when it shut down. So yeah, it was definitely over the 1500 watt limit. So that's good that it shut down. Okay, let's turn it back on. All right, we're back in business. Okay, heater on low. And then heat gun. Let's try not to overdo it this time. So we're about at, at about 1100 watts right now. So let's see what that is. So we're at uh, like 1,298. So a couple hundred watts shy of the max. I don't know that I have anything else that's going to 
push it to 1500 and not push it over. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's the best I can do without pushing it over. I don't, I don't think I have anything else that I can really hook up. All right, so let's try it on some bigger inductive loads. Oddly, this leaf blower vac machine has a higher, puts a higher load on inverters than circular saws and routers and things like that. <laughs> It handled the leaf blower quite well. Still haven't heard the fans come on it or anything like that. It's very cool and quiet and pretty, pretty compact size. Now, that being said, it is not hot right now. It's probably in the 60s ambient temperature outside. Let's take a peek inside and see what it looks like. Okay, I think that's gonna allow us to open. Yeah. Well, yeah. it looks quite tidy inside. It's definitely not a mess. Yeah, it's just, it's very basic. It's not a mess. It looks built quite tidy I think it looks pretty good internally it doesn't you know it has it looks like it has a good flow you know there's a fan here where this heat sink is at there's a fan here where this heat sink is at um, the fans are rather seem to be on a little bit on the small side so I'm I'm, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that All right guys, so I think what I'll do is I'll start using this inverter as my battery capacity test load. The one that I always use is my Leesky, which has been an absolute, absolute beast thus far and has held up quite well. So I think I'll start using this guy in its place so we can determine if this thing will hold up as well. All right, guys, so I think that's going to be the end of the video on this one. And like I said, I'll continue to use this in my, disc, uh, in my capacity test videos. And then if it blows up, we'll know. All right, guys, so I think that's going to be the end of the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.